welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew piping into a seam. Piping is a strip of fabric that is added to a seam to give a decorative effect. I've got a flat piping here and the other one has a cord. I'm going to demonstrate how to sew a flat piping into a seam. You're working on the right side of your fabric you get your strip of piping and place it close to the edge they all come in very various widths so I want to make sure that it's along the seam line of 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch and you get the right side of the next section and place that on top so that you have the piping sandwiched in between and then pin into place I now have my piping pinned into position and I'll show you what it looks like on the right side. I'm now ready to take it to my sewing machine. I've positioned my work on the seam line and I'm ready to sew. It's either 1.5 centimetres or 5 eighths of an inch and all it is is a straight line or straight line of sewing all the way down. And it pins out as I go. The seam is now sewn and as I open to reveal the right side you can see the piping as raised is lifted up. So in order to keep that in place you have a couple of options. You can edge stitch very close to the edge or you can top stitch which is depending on your project that you're working on and um, can be about three or four uh, millimeters from the edge here. Or the next option, if you don't want any top stitching to the right side of your project, is to turn your work to the wrong side and then with a the hand stitching, you can herringbone stitch is a good one to use to, along the raw edge to keep the seam in place. Do remember that if you're using cord in your piping that this technique still applies. The only difference is that you will be sewing it with a zipper foot. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.